Hey guys, welcome back. Mr. G here. Today we're going to be talking about another virtual assignment for our students in ceramics class. Now, this is a carryover assignment that we were talking about the elevated tile project where we had a tile and then you're adding stuff to the top of the tile to bring it off the surface. So uh, something like Groot, I would actually build a three dimensional version of the cassette tape and have that kind of attached to there via glaze. And it would sit off of the top of the tile and just be really cool. So I thought, how can we elevate this for our virtual learners? Because there's a lot of stuff in ceramics class that we can still do at home, even though we don't have any clay or kiln. So one of the things I, I did was we took a magazine piece and then we elevated that with adding three dimensional items to bring off of the scene. So let's dive into the project real quick. All right, so step one, we're gonna get a piece of mat board or cardboard, whatever is a large flat piece of. Pizza boxes also work wonderful for this too. Now, once I've gotten my board out, I need to select an image from a magazine. Now me, I'm using a two page spread of an artist uh, singing, I think this is Khalid, and glued it down on top of the board. Now I'm doing this backwards because it's gonna minimize the amount of air bubbles in the piece so I can get a nice flat coverage. Don't have to worry about trying to smooth things out. It just comes on a lot easier. So once I've got that in there, now I need to go ahead and start making my three dimensional elements. So seeing this guy is a musician. Those are the things I really want to focus on. I want to focus on the music. Um, I played uh, bass for a lot of years still can read the sheet music I think if I had to um, and I know the bass clef so I want to because he's gonna be a singer I'm going with more operatic so I want to get the soprano clef illustrated in there I definitely want to have some music notes in there the word music and the microphone itself so building these pieces up I'm gonna take spare mat board now if you don't have mat board at home I understand use cardboard it's the same thing uh, the difference between mat board and cardboard is mat board is a condensed uh, paper product whereas cardboard sometimes it's corrugated, which means it has that wavy stuff in the middle of it. So it's a little lighter, but it still works the exact same way. So cardboard is just as, just as good. Uh, so taking some strips, first thing I want to go ahead and knock out is the sheet music. So putting those strips across from left to right uh, on the board here, I'm using a hot glue gun to adhere all of these pieces. Why? Because it's easier and it dries faster and I can build faster. That's the number one reason. Otherwise, I'd probably use white glue. Why? Because I, I don't really use hot glue, but I'm loving it right now. So after I've got those strips on there, we're going to go ahead and add in some of the musical notes themselves, tossing in the musical notes, gluing them kind of randomly around there. If this actually plays a song, awesome. I don't know if it will or not off the top of my head. Now, moving on to the text font. I definitely want to have a font element in my image. I think that adding font into or text in general into an image makes it a little more engaging for a viewer. Uh, so one of the things I have, I'm having my students do is adding in that text element. One, it, it takes up space. Two, it's something easy to grade. Uh, and three, it just usually is a nice added benefit. Now, sometimes it's a necessary thing. Sometimes it's not. You be the judge. This is you guys' artwork just as much as it is a project that I'm doing. Uh, after I got that in there, I want to go ahead and build in the mic. Now for the mic, I'm, this one's going to take a little more structural elements with it. Uh, with the mic design, I'm having to build the mic stick or the top of the mic and then having to build the frame around the mic stand as well. Using again, strips of matte board, just cut thin strips and just kind of make that kind of semi accordion fashion. Doing that zigzag line across really kind of gives that, that element of space really fast and furious to the piece itself. Once I've got that in there and I've got those music notes, I've started, I've added in the, the music font. I did want to have to balance off of the page to give it like that spring, give it that little bit of oomph that it's coming out in the distance. Definitely want to do that. So to do that, uh, I took a couple pieces of mat board, zigzagged them in the back, just toward, just folded them into Z's. So I have that nice spring loaded action coming off of the lettering. It sits up high, it sits uh, kind of above the the base element of the board, but then almost at the uh, uh, the sheet music, the rolling sheet music across the scene as well. So I get all my elements in there. Next, we gotta move over to paint. So taking the whole board with me, I went ahead and blocked out the pieces of the, of the image with scrap map board that I had laying around. Again, if you, whatever you got laying around that you want to use as a blocking method, uh, scrap paper. Um, I do recommend that you use magazine paper rather than notebook paper because it's uh, notebook paper is going to become more saturated with the paint. Uh, that blocked out the paints, uh, blocked out the magazine papers, spray painted black so I have a nice, even, flat color to work with. 
brought them back to my table to work on, uh, painted up the notes themselves with a nice copper white for the sheet music. I know that the matte board was white ahead of time and I could have spray painted the whole thing in, in different pieces. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm also working with trying to get my students to get their stuff done at the same time. So, you know, things happen. These are things that you could change, see my mistakes, learn from my mistakes and make a better piece. I'm always telling my students that uh, sometimes I screw stuff up and I'm like, I wish I did it this way. And then they do it the way that I, we all said that way was better. And they have a better piece and my piece is just a great example and that's all that i'm wanting i'm just wanting to produce the example for them so they can get their minds going and making a better piece i always support my students to do better than me i always i think that's a good thing once i get into painting those notes again I, the paint that i have i have the i have white a copper and a glitter bronze finish that i'm going to use to add a little bit of glitter element around the outside why it's just really going to complement the gold that i spray painted the music note the music font with so i'm just using very simple colors i'm not having a big expansive palette on this piece i want to keep it fine-tuned to keeping it keeping it kind of simple keep it clean i uh, don't want to become muddy with having too many elements going on at one time that that i've found over time is just that's what really sinks a piece and does not make it as successful if you've added so much the piece loses its identity because you've added so many elements to it it's, it just becomes hard to understand it's a thing that i think you learn through process you learn over time and it's not something that you you understand from the beginning but again play around with the design add those elements to it and elevate up your your piece and I, overall i think it's a good project i think this is fun to do this is something that you guys could do over the summer if you got five minutes and you got nothing to do this is a great pd assignment for my teacher friends so that you guys can work on something uh collectively and have like a running theme come up with something that you all work together collectively i think is always a good thing let's go ahead and wrap up like we always do don't forget to uh like oh hang on i lost my train of thought all right so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up class like we always do let's go ahead and get through that which is don't forget to like subscribe share on all the various platforms get the message out there to as many teachers and friends as we possibly have love sharing the message educate the masses smarter the better we are always don't forget if you guys had a question comment or concern during class today raise those hands comments below happy to answer the questions from my classmates as always i will see you guys in the next class until then i got more projects to work on i'll see you guys later have a good one see you